Welcome back, Moonlighters. Today we're playing more Ventures, Ghosts of New Eden. And I didn't realize what this. Is next. Won't be easy. We've lost an ally and a friend, and the nightmare is all around. Hear that? Go to the Harrows. So we ended up having to go to this place, anyways. I thought it was going to be an either or thing, but now we're going to the Harrows. Where I believe uh, these will be the harrows. An imaginative name. There's a ring to it. I think this is where the governor that we met at the beginning of the game took everybody. Alright, so does that mean I gotta go down here? Red. Suddenly I can't manifest. That's not good. Something magic hinders me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see if we can find this ghost ward. That was the end. I'm still hindered. There must be another ward nearby. Oh, we're getting seashore candles again. Awesome. Better. Thank you. These wards look fairly new. A witch? A hostile, no, let's make a place we can get to, or fast travel to. That's interesting. Ooh, the dark and scary wood. Whatever grip it is the nightmare has here, you'd never know by looking. Yeah. Uh, we'll see about that. Concealed. Right there. Maybe if people, you know, picked up, you know, got their dead, maybe there won't be specters all around, huh? The bridge is up. Wonder why. To keep folk in or to keep something out? It just me you I felt it too right here another dead body <laughs> bless me
Okay. Oh yeah, right here, I bet. I'm sure everybody's gonna be happy that I'm putting the bridge down. Are you the guy that just dropped the bridge? Yes, I am. Well, I do have to admit, this is a little bit more inviting. I... There might be a way to open this door from the other side. Barricaded. God's Acre. Covenant Beach. New Eden Town. Dark Woods. Oh. So these are the Dark Woods. Huh. Afraid of something. Leave them up. Cause no trouble. Oh, there. Anyone home? Where did they go? Yeah, no kidding, dude. Where's everybody? Search for the settlers. Nobody, huh? Like they were still building this place. Look at that. Aye, Fairfax Haskell. Though it bring demons down in great wrath upon my soul. Fixed fair on the fires of hell, that from their foggy fury they be freed to return in glory. Friends, find fortitude in our success. 
Exiled from our homes by the devil's machinations, we congregate before the Lord in this new meeting house. We gather, we worship, we overcome. And we shall be well protected by the holy ward my son now makes under my instruction. For I have spent hours countless in your service, poring through books and papers, devouring the oeuvre of my peers, that our meeting house be safe. Fairfax Haskell, for whom the word pompous was invented. Half built? <laughs> yes. Open to the four winds? Yes, but already it is resplendent with our faith. A shining reminder of our renewed belief in better days. McCraith, Mr. McCraith. <laughs> I thought you. I thought you. What happy portent, what most excellent news. What blessings. I applaud your valorous deeds. O oh, fate, I say, dead, sir. I thought you dead. Maybe I am. Do not make light of such matters, my friend, for the devil's wrath is wide awake, and his claw scratches at our door, metaphorically speaking. I'm alive. I promise. My friends, I shall deliver this sermon another time. The battle with the Devil's Legions is ongoing, and Mr. McCraith and I have much to discuss. Well, he didn't publicly uh, humiliate me in front of everybody. What is... Thank you, Lammy. Behold this miracle of ours, Mr. McCraith. Exiled we, yet in our darkest hour, we find the moral vigor to build this humble monument to resilience. But you and I must speak of darker matters. For we, erudite men of higher learning, know that evil yet walks. There is much work to be done. Indeed there is. Yes, yes. Forgive the inelegance of my welcome. You are alone. Do I surmise that Miss Duarte is no more? Should have been me. It should have been me. The Lord is near unto them that are of a contrite heart, and will save such as be afflicted in spirit. Boy. I'm so sorry for your loss. Grief is a journey, long and painful, but you do not walk the road alone, I promise you. And there comes a time when you must let go and walk on alone. In time, God healed my wounds. May you two find peace. Now, what wounds do you have? I regret that even at this most burdensome time for you, I must move with haste to business and beg once more for your help. What do you got? How may I help? One among us deals with the devil. The colony suffers grave misfortune, and, I am ashamed to say, the evil comes from within. You and I share great expertise, but I am a man of position. Well, you, sir, are much more familiar with field work. Oh. Go, meet my people, walk amongst them, learn which of them secretly serves the demon that we may expunge this evil malady from our body politic. Uh, oh. It is a witch hunt wise? Here, now? It is not just wise, it is imperative. This servant of the devil has delivered a pestilence unto my people. The black spy himself desires our destruction. First with sickness of the flesh, and then when we are down with sickness of the spirit. It pits one against the other. Suspicion tears this community apart once again. All this to weaken my people and lead them away from the light of God. 
Okay, what makes you think there's a witch? What makes you think there's a witch at work here? Aye, sir, I'm a man of God and intellect. I can read the signs. When a so-called mystery disease afflicts half of my people overnight, there can be only one culprit. Tis the devil's doing, sir. Probably oh. through one of his servants. For you see, I understood immediately that the water in the well had been tainted. There are no strangers here. You could self-accept it. No one has fled. The guilty woman, or man, I suppose, remains within the village. As evil walks, the evil are emboldened, but this witch shall see her downfall. Or his, of course. As did the last one, as will the next. Huh. Some years ago, you may have heard tell of this, I made my name on the execution of a terrible witch. It pains me that I must do it once more. Uh-huh. I noted your ghost wards with some interest. Ghost wards, an interesting name. I call them sanctifiers, a name more palatable to my flock. Oh. This requires a great deal of occult knowledge. Where did you learn your craft? Etienne Roulet, one of the greatest demonologists of our time, is a good friend of mine. I improved upon his work. Why did you not use them in New Eden when the curse began? It was more complicated to convince the whole congregation of the necessity to use magic. Here, people have more trust in my unmovable probity. Okay. This illness, tell me of it. Upon my arrival here in the Harrows, I immediately set about protecting the place with consecrated tokens. Safeguarded from the curse, we all felt safer for a time. Then some devil poisoned the well, our only source of water, someone on the inside, mind. Spoiled water proves nothing. A wise point and well made, Banisher, if not for the fact that we have been, for months on end, under the obvious influence of a terrible curse. Oh. One way or another, the devil has found an agent among us. And who knows what nefarious ill doing old Black Spy plans next? Okay. I am no witch hunter. My business is with the lingering dead. For a fee, yes, I know. But you can't deny evil practitioners exist. A few years ago, I had to cleanse this community from such a threat. Deborah? Do you mean Deborah? You know a little already, I gather. Yes. Deborah. The crooked school teacher. When Deborah showed her true nature, I was proud to pass judgment upon her. She earned her punishment. Her mask was a good one. As if butter would not melt upon her tongue. But you cannot fool a man of faith and intellect. No, sir. You cannot. Oh, great. You'll not mind me saying it, but for a Puritan paradise, you seem to get more than your fair share of witches. God has not forsaken us. But someone here does the devil's work. Find me a witch, Mr. McCraith. Return this place to the Lord. I'm a working man, Governor, but the Lord does seem happy to pay, so I'll do what I can. I'll uh, take my leave of you, Governor. Of course. Outside, you must take the stairs. While you're with us, the first house on the left shall be your home. Another witch hunt. If there even is a witch... Deborah was innocent. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I can already kind of see where this one's going because, um... It is our honor you're here, sir. Hello. I mean, this should be right here, right? Ghost Ward. I think you can safely knock it over. There you 
you are. Here I am. I like how half the time we're lighting a fire inside a house. you here too. You're the governor's son, right? I, uh, <clears throat> yes sir. Lamentation Haskell. Friends call me Lammy. Oh, they would if I had any. Please, call me Lammy. I have so many questions, sir. <sighs> so many questions. But I suspect this is not the time. No, not the time. But perhaps you may help me anyway. Me? Why, if I can help, I'd be honoured. Let's ask about it. Your father spoke of the pestilence. He did? Then, sir, you know as much as I do. If you have an opinion of your own, I'd be glad to hear it. Since you ask it, I believe a thing most vile assails us. An evil of origin unknown and perhaps unknowable. So the pestilence is part of the curse? Uh, y yes. Of course, the curse. Of course it's the curse. What else could it be? You. I have a suspicion. It's you. Your father believes there is a Harrow's Witch. Have you noticed anyone acting strange? I... I'd answer, sir, I surely would, only things being as they are, everyone is acting strange. The curse brought illness, illness brought division, division has led to strife. We could do with some healing, sir, we could. We need you to bring us peace. Alright. Good day to you, Lammy. Good day to you, sir. The way he said that makes me think. The way he said that makes me think. Banisher garment. Really? Oh, wow. Okay, so what's the difference here? Huh. Well, that one's not bad. Hitting an enemy grants two banish points. That is not bad at all. Um, I was hoping people were just going to be out and about. this guy, see? How are you, Mr. Bachelor? I do not need the services of a heretic today. Whoa. And nor do the people of New Eden. Oh. He seems pleasant. Seen anything strange of late? Do you speak of the disease eating at the fabric of our fair community? We've sealed the well, closed homes and houses, 
and said our prayers. Oh, thank God. It has not worked. Apart from that, have you noticed anyone behaving strangely? I have to ask. I have seen the alewife, Mistress Barrow, lurking by the well, hands in her pockets, clutching at her herbals. And as I think of it, before his house burned down with his wife and brother in it, Caleb Watson and the alewife had a sharp exchange of words. It were as if she'd cursed him. If there is a Harrow's witch, I'd start looking there. Oh. If I wanted a word with her, where would I find her? She tends to the alehouse, brewing God knows what witchery and mischief in her cauldron. Oh, okay. I must take my leave of you, sir. God keep you, for I shall not. So glad I don't have to talk to you anymore. Holy. Holier than out. That holier than thou bullcrap, man. No thank you. The governor's speak. Good day to you both. And a good day to you too, sir. And wasn't that quite the entrance you made? You'll be the talk of the town. So, what brings you to our wee corner of the world? The governor bade me make the rounds. He suspects evil doing. If it's evil doing you're after, you may turn around and hurry back to New Eden Town. Oh. Now, if it excuse us, my sister's not feeling well and we must hurry home. Dear Eve, I didn't catch your names. God be with you and your terrible pronunciation. Mary Claire O'Hara. This is my sister, Elizabeth. Okay. Noticed anything strange around here of late? Strange? A fine word for the devil's work. I call it evil. Look around you. The harrows are dying. Our flock took sick. Every last animal dead. Ram, lamb and you. Then the people took their turn. Many of our neighbours are with the Lord. At least, that's where we hope they are. If there's witchery afoot, I'll need help finding the culprit. Do you have suspicions you'd care to share? Well, Caleb Watson lately talks to himself. And if you interrupt him, why, he's as rude as a goat. And he was such a well-mannered man, too. Lord forgive me, but I don't like him. The man has stopped washing. He reeks. Interesting. Thank you. Oh, well, that means that he's, a, he's a, doing some witchcraft. I'll let you rest, so. Slan live. Goodbye to you. Be sure to fear the Lord and faithfully serve him. Goodbye to you, sir. Caleb Watson. We keep hearing that name. Let's pay him a visit. The general store, huh? Ah, oh, the famed and famous banisher. The one and only Redmond Wraith. Have we met? I was at the meeting house. You've got guts. I like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh, politeness gives me the shits. I'm Phoebe Walcott. I buy and sell. Oh. Now then, what's your pleasure? Straight to it. May I see your wares? I'm a shopkeeper, aren't I? Yes, you may see my wares. Dude, does nobody in this place have any... It's crazy. These people are all so rude. Hitting an enemy with a manifestation increases the damage of next light. Oh, wow. That's actually not bad. Lucky star. Defeating an enemy with melee attacks increases the damage of the next man's... Wow, that's pretty good, actually. What is that? Art supplies. There we go. I'm just gonna buy that. What's this? Spirit points. Spirit point gains are increased by 30, but manifestations cool down. Ugh. <clears throat> so, have you noticed any strange behavior of late? Apart from my own? Yes. So much so that now I am almost normal. Caleb Watson, for example. Now he, my friend, is really strange. Okay. Is he now? 
He used to be such a nice man. Now he's aggressive and he smells like the Christmas cat at Easter. Where can I find Caleb Watson? Well now, seeing as he's our cobbler, you'll find him in his workshop. So he loses his family. Meet again. You mind your good self, dear. Interesting. Give us this day our daily bread. Our bread. Not our ale. Our bread. Do you want us to starve? I should have uh. the yeast. You know it, Mistress Barrow. You know it full well. If you want yeast, then grow your own. Just stick some in a jar and grow it, and you'll have it forever. Now there is none, and it's my fault. Uh. Food is a staple, a drink is a luxury. Give me the yeast. How uh. many different ways do you need to hear it? Of yeast, there is no more. There is yeast, no more. Yeast, no, no more. There's no more shitting yeast. You're lying. You're pricking now, Mr. Cottle. And I am vexed. Go home. Go back to your work. Go to hell for all I care. Just go away. Holy crap, guys. Good day to you, sir. Likewise. Red McCreath. You? A Perry Cottle, I'm the baker. What are you doing out here in the rustics? I'm a banisher. I'm looking for ghosts. You find no ghosts here, sir. Nor demons. The governor, in his piety, sees to that. Oh. I envy your faith, Mr. Cotto. How's that working out so far? <laughs> Have you noticed anything strange lately? Changes in demeanor, odd comings and goings? Lucy Barrow goes picking plants. All furtive like. I've seen her. I've watched her. She puts them in her strange concoctions. Won't tell me what's in there. Maybe she'd spill it to you. Thank you. I'll look into it. I should go. God go with you. Enough people are suspicious of Lucy Barrow that I am too. Let's see if the rumors are true. I guess the good question is where did, uh... Good day, sir. Hello. Good day, uh, madam. Mistress, Lucy Barrow, the alewife. Red McGrath, the banisher. Alewife, is it? I never have guessed from looking at you. And what does an alewife look like, Mr. Banisher? Uh, she's got you there. <laughs> Can I ask, have you noticed anything strange lately? If you have, be sure to tell me. I'll be sure to tell you if I see anything normal. Strange is the flavour of the hour, the week, the month, and the year. Yet folks still gossip. They're suspicious, aggressive, impatient. Perhaps they hanker for normality. I suppose it figures. Well, if you hear anything that strikes you as unusual, do let me know. Would you be interested in a trade at all? What do you need? What do you got? There we go. Neutral. Interesting. Can I ask you something? You may. It is delicate. You're the subject of certain rumours. Did you know this? What are you talking about? They say you burned someone's house down. Revenge, they say. They say that, do they? They talk, Mr. McCraith, while I work. They'll drink my ale, let them talk. Right. Is that all? They say... You put herbs in the ale. Amongst other things, yes. You'll note that they also drink the ale. And don't you believe everything you hear.
I'll take my leave of you for now. And I of you. I doubt she's who we're looking for. There was another name. Caleb Watson. Well, let's go talk to him. Looks like we... Smells like death all of a sudden. It's justice. Start anew. Shite on these people. They can't hurt us. But how could you make him kiss it again? Oh there. Are you all right, sir? We're closed. Uh, oh, now. Out with you. Leave. Leave. I can tell from your sorry demeanor that you won't mind me asking you a couple of questions. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. I'm searching the area for evidence of witchcraft. And you, I can tell, are itching to help me. Uh -huh. Show your shite and shapes, goose peddler. No witches here. Only myself, Caleb Watson. Okay. The governor bade me make the rounds. Is anyone acting strange? Why would he ask you that? Everyone keeps secrets. And I have a talent for uncovering them. I ain't got no secrets. I ain't done no wrong. Search me house, if you don't believe me. See for yourself. And when you're done, if you're any kind of man, you'll come back here, doff your cap, apologize, then shite off and never come back. If you're looking for someone acting strangely, I think you've found your man. I'll be leaving you alone for now. A man content with his own company is never alone. <laughs> you hear that? Good one, right? <laughs> Feels terrible, doesn't it? Fascinating. Does each citizen have their own? What do you think? Two of them are missing. Alexander and Ruth Watson. Hmm. Family? Well, didn't we find out that they burned in the fire? This is wrong. It's wrong. Mistress Walcott, I write in all kindness to remind you gently of your outstanding bill for the repairs done on your boots. Dear Mr. Watson, I am responding to your letter regarding my abilities. I am delighted to uh, share the same interests. Uh, meet somewhere away from those who would monger scandal. Interesting. Here's Fairfax. I hereby write to you personally. Thank you for your diligence. So pretty much just saying thanks for being the shoe guy. Okay. <clears throat> Ruth, I have long considered sending you this letter at all, as I can only imagine how it, it will make you suffer. But I believe that in an omission of the truth, blah, blah, blah. Alexander's unfaithful. He sees harlots behind your back. There, the truth is out. Caleb. Being courted by two brothers at once rarely ends well. Personal experience. Don't go there. I can imagine it doesn't end well. What's this? It's not metal, not wood. Bone. bone. It's bone. Lovely. Hugh Bachelor said Lucy Barrow cursed the house and it burned down. A house burned down, and I suspect the rest is nonsense. The dust. Alexander Watson and Ruth Watson, wife and brother to shoemaker Caleb Watson, both dead tragically in a fire. He went in to Ruth save his and sister. Alexander Watson, the cobbler's wife and brother. Caleb Watson is out of his mind with grief. 
I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. It's ours anyway. Should have been ours since the beginning. You know it's true. You've done enough sniffing. Hmm? Tired of the smell of your own ass. Oh. You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox on you. And a pox on your questions, too. Oh. You'll not take him head on. You must take your time. Outflank him. There's Bond debris out back. I found bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. Okay. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Were you telling the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name because I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. You don't sound like you regret it, though. No. The past the past. Dead and buried. My brother is but a lingering memory. It was terrible. terrible what happened to your wife and brother. It might have helped if you'd mentioned that. You must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? Shite on me, shite bag brother. And shite on you too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre. And I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? Shite off with your God's Acre. And good riddance to both. God's Acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. Buried, buried all. Quiet, you. And you can shite off, taking your nothing happened with you. Ah. Whatever happened, it happened at God's Acre. So this is interesting because if I had to guess. Both brothers are trying to occupy his body. If I had to guess. Right? That's what it seems like it's happening. Because, it, yeah, that would explain the talking to himself and stuff. Find God's acre. Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man. Huh. I'm thinking possession. They're not demonic, no mirror or whatnot. Mm, agreed. Possession is plausible. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. I mean, true, but you did ask me. Oh, so cool. Look at that, a ship. Picking up something spectral nearby. Concealed. Thought I saw it for a sec. You were right there. Just me, you. I felt it too. Wait. So is that part of the? No, it's not. It's its own thing, huh? Alright. 
seriously though, this is what these people have to do to get to the... To get to their buried? How did they get the buried there? They just dragged them through this little opening? God's Acre. God's Acre. Oh, jeez. My God. Too heavy to lower from your side. All right, I was suspecting a way around then. see any way to jump over. Huh. Oh wait. Looks like there's a way over over there. Let's -a go. seem like a good burial place, but maybe that's just me. Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever got Kate up acting so strange. Wouldn't that be crazy? It's like you just find out he's just crazy. He's just overcome with grief. Here. This isn't over yet. Watch out. Spectre position. Try this on for size. All right. Let's go back here. Is that a female? I think I see a patella. Lovely. Wait, so someone was grave robbing? Grave robbers. Yes, but what exactly were they stealing?
got a figure Ruth here. Watson. There's another grave beneath it. Undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on earth that suits whatever did this. Oh, what do we got here? Oh my god. Decoys to distract wayward specters. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. Oh, we might be getting into. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. Well, they made quite the mess. Perhaps the decoys may show us the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try. Find the decoys. This way, more of them. That's what I was talking about when I said don't get too close. Took care of it, didn't I? I'm sorry, but that is not a graveyard. Why would somebody leave linen right next to that? Hugging all the fun. a path between the decoys. I mean, they're easy enough to fight. Demonology. I should have known. Oh boy.
Okay. Let's see what this place holds. Maybe he tried to bring his. This fella again. He's persistent. I'll grant him that. It's about to strike. Wasn't your first, won't be your last. Oh, what's the uh, what's this? Oh look at that outburst area effect I wow. That's pretty sweet actually. Huh. Hi, thank you. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. How about a chant to reveal the past? Oh, there, fella. You're nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work. Looking for a parchment, huh? Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need. Who is this? Did you feel that? It's close. An aged parchment smudged and discolored on which is written and annotated instructions for the incantation of lesser pelagenesis, a powerful resurrection ritual. What is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser pelagenesis. The ritual of that ritual? The one that brings someone back? That ritual? Yes, that ritual. Well, oh dang. Reunius fat aster himi. Flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. 
Caleb is no longer Caleb. Uh-huh. He got the wrong ghost too. He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. All right, let's go talk to our possessed man. Right now, all is well. Nothing bad will ever shite off. Oh. We've been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah. Can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tail short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to mm. even start? Oh, man. Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? Cripes. He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, of course it did. <laughs> There's something else you should know, if you don't know it already. I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. Holy moly. Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. Does he deserve it? Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation. As I had to hear him destroy mine when he painted me a fornicator. How oh, nice. He took our love. Ruth and mine and killed it. Now our love's reborn, and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cad. Shite on him. Let him suffer. Jesus. You died trying to save Ruth from a bonding house. True. True. I'm sorry. There's an awful way to go, and so young too. You deserve better. We deserved better, and now we have it. And with it, Caleb gets to make amends. I mean... For he did nothing. He stood and watched us burn. <laughs> Caleb's name was ruined then. We're just putting the boot in. Huh. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves us all to strange endeavours. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. I understand your anger, more so your desire. But what of Ruth? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me, but he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. I'd mm. like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth died in will. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. I...
can't find an angle with that, it's just plain wrong. Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her. Find the burned down house. Red, I can't manifest anymore. The ghost wards feel far away from here. Dang it. I could clear the way. I see it, I see it. Give me a sec. So let's go check this mystery out. Find the burned down house. <clears throat> huh. What if what if uh, this lady doesn't want anything to do with either one of them? What if she's just Perhaps like the down. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. Lined up. Perfect. Caleb and I had another discussion this morning. I went walking and caught him sobbing in the garden when I came back. He apologized and I took that badly too. He's kind and romantic listens well, which is why I married him, but I sometimes but I am sometimes uncomfortable. He's my husband and I am his wife. I want him to be loved and not an icon to be worshipped. A beautiful homemade illustrated compendium of the birds of New Eden, complete with feathers found to match the drawings. Complete? Not quite. Two pages are missing feathers. Bonebreaker crow and herring gull. This work shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learnt a little about Ruth. Is it just me or...? I felt it too. Oh, there it is. There it is. <clears throat> a withered human heart. It once belonged to Ruth Watson. This tie is doused with the essence of its ghost. Once a closure has severed the ghost bond to the world, this essence will be automatically consumed by Antena, Antea to make her stronger. Of course. Ruth's heart binds them like a bushel of rotting corn. You! What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank rump! Whatever you found, it ain't yours! You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth? Can you hear me? Can you speak? Puck off and die! I'm in charge here! Uh, no! Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Ugh. Go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine, and you have not the right, you hear? 
You've not the right. <clears throat> Her heart! Give it back! Clean shall God do. Oh, he used a serious voice for that no one. More does he silence me? We may speak. Her, uh, where's her ghost? Talk to the gross ghost of Ruth Wilson Watson. Lovely. Is that up here then? Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? It tore me in two. I loved Alexander. But I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. I thought I married the better brother. But I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. And yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. No, man. Holy crap. How did Caleb treat you? With adoration. I was an idol. Worshipped, yet unloved. He was the sculptor and I was the statue. Smiling down, unmoving from my pedestal with nothing to say. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Who taught him the ritual? Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Thing about Caleb... He was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Interesting. Wait. Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual. After Whoa. Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Whoa. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay. Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. It's true. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. So wait. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay, but wait, 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 wait. But I don't, okay, but I don't want to do that to her. She didn't deserve it. She was caught between two jerks. I'm gonna ascend because I think that'll do for everybody. Alexander, you were wronged, but Ruth owes you not. Not her life, nor her death. I'm not my brother. I am the man who runs into the burning house. Ruth owes us nothing. But my love is true, and his is not. Your love is not measured by what you win. It's measured by what you're willing to let go. I... I'm sorry, Ruth. You deserved better. Better than him. Better than me. Send me away, Banisher. Let the devil stoke the flames of hell for me. And we'll see if I burn. Take your head out your arse, you're not that important. Right, hold still, both of you. Let me pry you all apart. You have been here. Are they gone? Am I speaking with the cobbler, Caleb Watson? That you, Caleb? I, I, I think... Uh, yes, that's me. Or it, it was me, once. For my bastard brother was my hollow keeper. You're not entirely innocent, though. If you'll permit the unfortunate expression, there was more than one of you in it. I... You were in it too. He ruined my name, ruined my flesh, ruined my wife. You gave him a pat on the cheek of his ass and, and sent him on his way. I am an, an imperfect man. My brother was a bastard and, and sly and he tricked you onto his side. What does that make you? I too am an imperfect man. I have mercy and patience in limited supply. Let's not test those limits further, eh? Mm -hmm. Think about it. If I would have done that to him, I would have con condemned a roof. Think about it, homie. I wasn't going to condemn her because of... I mean, you've seen some horrors, but that... This is the work. You're right. There's nothing I'd rather be doing. That's some weird That's stuff right there. Something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business. And their consequences too. Don't waver. We could win a battle, but we can't win the war. Nobody should conquer death. And we don't want to pay the price of trying. I... I hear you. Good. Now, let's see what Lamy Haskell has to say about raising spirits from the dead. Oof. Report to the governor. Do I get a choice? Can I talk to... Governor. May I help you, Mr. McCraith? Well? I have to admit, this is an unusual case. Yes, yes, but have you solved it? I believe so. But the culprit was not responsible for the plague. At least not directly. Have you found the witch or have you not? Someone here has been dabbling in some dark magic. I have the name. So, 
What are you waiting for? Well... I have the name. I don't have the full picture. When I do, I'll act. Come, you have the name. You have the proof. The matter is simple, is it not? No. Not exactly. The name is... Lamentation Haskell. No, it can't be. My son is studious. Curious, too curious at times, perhaps. But he does not have a bad bone in his heart. He showed Caleb Watts in a ritual. The cobbler used it and became possessed. Even if true, it would only mean my son was exposed to corruption. Oh, it happened geez. before. Bring me proof, banisher. Find the real source of evil. Since when has the governor required proof? Hmm. I'll get it. Mark me. I must find your son, Governor. Sooner rather than later. His interests take him hither and thither. If he isn't here, he must be working on the outskirts. He's been sprucing up one of the abandoned houses there. I ordered them emptied when the sickness hit. Here, yeah. take the gate key. Go there. See for yourself. You're wrong about him. You're wrong about my son. Needless to say that I count, of course, on your discretion. Huh. Of course you do. He was quick to condemn till it was his own son on the block. Who's he really protecting? We'll bring him the proof he wants. If the boy is guilty, his father may not be able to protect him. House in question is over here somewhere. Right here. Go see him. Hell's balls! What happened here? Something's emanating from under there. No wonder this place is off limits. What the heck? Lay me. I called it. One of these must be Lammy's hideaway. Do we got? You're on your own. Warded up the arse. Cripes. Sorry, not this time. Ah, oh, it's right there. Mommy, you here? This is locked from the other side. Oh, I can get in right there. A 
book of herbalism. A set of tools including a, sh a scalpel, knife, magnifying glass, and other objects. You were studying botany? Why botany? Potions. Oh, I can get through there. Let me do this first. Okay. What? Fauna and flora. What's in here? This requires a key. Uh, let's see. 18th of May, 1692. My dearest Lammy, it, always, uh, it has been as always a great satisfaction to talk with you again. I love your enthusiasm and wit. You remind me of me when I was your age, so eager to know more about the great mysteries of the world. Of all worlds. I only wished I would have stayed longer, but I must go back to Providence. Um, you and me are like Orpheus, ready to cross forbidden waters for knowledge. Ooh, okay. I've clearly noticed some very particular vibrations coming from an ancient mill located above a cliff by the seaside. Quite a creepy place, if you ask me. Interesting. Harold, mean anything to you? Not a thing. You mentioned an old mill. You seem fascinated by the place. Oh, yeah. So that's quite a bit of ways away. Oh, geez, what were you doing here? The incisions are clean. The precision of an expert. There's magic here, though faint. Jeez. in here. Nothing incriminating yet. Remember This place is even more fascinating than I imagined. So many unanswered, unanswered questions waiting to be answered. Monsieur Roulette was right. I shall go there. Interesting. What we found at Caleb Watson's. Maybe we're not looking in the right place. If I had something to hide, I might hide it in an abandoned mill. What could they be hiding? Maybe a creature? Maybe he's doing Frankenstein's monster type thing? how good we are together yeah it's always good to hear wards i'm going to need a hand here all right well let's take a look well the ward was over here wasn't it there you are. here i am Yes, something's here. What's here?
Where was that? It was against the tree, wasn't it? Go oh, back here. up here let me it's time to go see what's going on in this old mill huh <laughs> 